Hey everyone, um, I thought this is going to be a really quick project share video. I have been accumulating um, Altoid tins. This is one of the smaller Altoid tins, but I've been accumulating them for off and on for a few years and they just kind of built up. I've also got like a tin like this is a Victoria's Secret one, about the same size. Uh, this is another tin that had mints in it. They Anyway, my little accumulation had gotten out of control, so I decided to do something for Valentine's Day gifts. My fingernails are horrible right now, so. Um, and I'm just going to show you kind of what I've come up with, some different altered tins. These are some ones that are still in progress, so I'll show you some progression. This I used... Uh, it's mostly decoupage with some texture elements, texture paste. Um, I used some some silicone caulking to um, apply some beads and then put some film over that with some tissue over that and then did some metallic painting on it. And it's not finished because when it finishes, I'm going to get rid of the Altoids, um, the raised lettering. So I'm kind of still in the pro process of finishing that one. Here's some smaller ones that I'm still working on. This is just, again, some decoupage that I've just started with, done an initial paint job on the tin. Yeah. And that was alcohol inks on some wax paper. And same thing here, alcohol ink. On wax paper and then decoupage and I kind of like the smalls lettering so I may just pull that out and then just some metallic paint this one I haven't done much at all and I don't know why I'm even showing it but it shows the different stages so moving on then let me show you some of the different things I've done this is a, a decoupage Maj Paj one and I use some dried flowers Trying to get it to focus here, sorry. There you go. I used some dried flowers and uh, just some alcohol ink, uh, various layers, and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Just a basic metallic finish on it. And I don't mind if it gets a little scruffed up because I feel like at a certain point that kind of adds to it, but I will seal it with a layer of Mod Podge over everything eventually. This is actually, uh, it's covered in, just on the top, air dry clay and different layers of air dry clay that I kind of allowed to be very rough intentionally. And then I put some silicone caulking on and then I used some bits and pieces of old jewelry, broken jewelry. This is a button. And then I did some metallic painting over the top. And I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. It's very striking. Um, my plan for these is to put some, some paper inside or maybe even some candies inside. I haven't decided to give them as gifts. This is one of the small tins. So it's this one. And it's covered in air dry clay. And I did a little bit of, a little more decorative, kind of leafy flowers, and then did everything metallic. And that's several layers of paint, different kinds of paint. And I will go over, the bottoms of all of these are going to be, I think I've decided to Mod Podge the bottoms and give it another coat of paint to get rid of any lettering or anything like that. But I like that one. This was a flat one that I really love. It is really flat. Would work well for, I think, business cards. Okay, let me, okay. Yeah, it opens side to side, but I mean, uh, yeah, there we go. I did my Podge inside it. But it's perfect for like putting a business card in. Let's see if I have something. That's not the size of a business card, but you could, oh. That kind of thing. 
And um, on top, I use my favorite silicone caulking. That's my favorite medium to apply. And then these are silk flowers. I've got some bits and pieces, broken chains. And you can't even really identify what I put on there. And then I did some spray alcohol inks, some paint, layers and layers of it to get that effect. This is air dry clay again, same technique. And again, the bottoms will be finished later. This one needs some work, but I kind of like the steampunk aspect of it, so I may just leave it as is. It's kind of looking rusted and and aged and kind of very rustic on it. Again, silicone caulking everywhere, layers of paint, alcohol ink, dyes, just to get into And I stop when I like it. So I think I may stop on this one. It's, it's different from the other ones. So sometimes you're better off just stopping. This is an interesting one. This is a long one. This is one where uh, some, I think it was a Wrigley gum came in it around Christmas. It's one of those special tins. The tin is painted all around. It's kind of very, it's very messy. And then the top, it's layers, like this is felt and different kinds of pieces of jewelry, an old watch. And it's kind of got a very, very artsy, eclectic look to it. But I like it. It's unique. Um, this is one that's not completely finished, obviously, because you can still see a lot. I've got to get some more layers of paint on it. But it was, it's a gum one that sat like this and it opens on the top. Um, and I just put some flowers on top. This is a, one of my favorites. Just flowers, different pieces of silk flowers, uh, found objects. And when you put it all on, you know, it doesn't look like it goes together. And then you paint over it and unify everything and make it really cohesive. And it turns out really pretty. I like this one a lot. This one, um, you can see a lot of the silicone caulking there, which is fine with me. And then I did a lot of spraying on it. These are vintage flowers and a little bee and stuff. And then it's a, it's a mint tin from Trader Joe's. And I actually really liked the colors, the kind of soft colors. I don't know what I'm going to do back there. And then uh, obviously I'll close the bottom. But I like this one. It's kind of springy and fun. And it's not looking as impressive on video as it is in real life. This is another one of the longer tins, and it's very eclectic, funky, strange. There's such a satisfaction in doing this kind of assemblage work. It, I can't even tell you. It's like finding all these broken things and putting them together and then painting them and they all look like they go together. This is another air dry clay top. I, it's got some paint work to be done on it. But pretty. A couple more. Uh, this is another one. And this one. So I have completed them, um, and I've got fifteen semi completed or somewhat completed. And then about seven or eight more to do. And then when I'm done, I'm done. I'm not going to accumulate them anymore, I don't think. Not sure yet. But anyway, I thought it would be a fun share. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.